This is about the big move, Immigrating to Australia from the United States, by Monique Littlejohn. Why this course is different from the others. First of all, this is about my personal experience of moving to Australia when I was eight months pregnant with my first child. My husband and I picked, packed up everything and we took the plane in separate planes all the way to Australia. It's going to be full of anecdotes, also known as stories. These are very personal to me and they may differ from your experience of moving to Australia, but certainly it will help you when it is time for you to make the big move. Now, this is about someone who has been there and back and is heading back again. I did live in Australia for two and a half years and then moved home for personal reasons. And after three years, we're planning on moving back again. Another way that this is different from some other online courses you may have seen is that I'm doing a lot of fact checking. I'm making sure that this course is current and that when I quote wages or living expenses, that it's not based on three years ago, it's based on now. Now, I have seen more of Australia than many Aussies have. I've gone to every corner of Australia, from Darwin to Adelaide and Tasmania, Perth, Margaret River, the Gold Coast, Cape Tribulation, and of course, Sydney. You can't forget Canberra and the Australian Capital Territory in Melbourne as well. So I've seen quite a lot of Australia, and I'll talk about some of the benefits of living in certain areas and some of the drawbacks too. This is focused also on Americans. If you're from Canada or another Commonwealth country, this may not all apply to you because, frankly, you're going to have a much easier time moving to Australia. We're outside of the Commonwealth thanks to the Revolutionary War, and that has created a few extra hurdles that we have to overcome when we do immigrate. Now, finally, this is the truth from my perspective. It's about both the good and the bad. I'm not going to paint a picture of all sunshine and rainbows when you move, because the truth is there are some hurdles that you're going to have to overcome when you move to Australia. If you move to Australia thinking that everything is, is just going to fall right in line with when you were on vacation there, think again. It's quite a bit different when you go on vacation versus actually living in a place. And so I'm going to get into the nitty gritty, those things that you need to know before you get on that plane and buy, buy that airline ticket. So I'm hoping that you get a lot out of this course and I'm looking forward to teaching it to you over the next several hours. Good day.